Hey there YouTube, I'm Speedful Lol and I've got my background up again. Watch the previews and I'm gonna be doing something else then, showing off my background. Because I'm going to review what's in this. Alright, so I'm gonna try to open that up. I don't know how long this is gonna take, but I'm sure it won't be too long. At least, yeah, I'm pretty sure it won't take too long to get this open with my keys here. However, you can always prove me wrong, as you know. <laughs> Bingo. Yes, bingo. I got it. Alright, now let's have a look. What is in here? Yeah. There we go. Alright. Looks like just a bunch of newspapers. Yeah. And this is in there. And this is one of my favorite transformers. If I'm right. And yes, I am right. I am as right as possible. Because this here, this video is going to be, re be a review on Transformers Cybertron Crosswise. I mean, I just really love this figure. Just watch this. I mean, just look at it. This car is based off the Bugatti Veyron. The car with the fastest acceleration of all production cars in the world. The thing goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.7 seconds. Now that's crazy. It comes with this flame you can put in the spoiler here and it fires you know not too powerful or something but oh well it fires that's something all right now he's got those nice paint dabs here on the headlights man I love this figure <laughs> I just got it and I already love it this cool grill here feels really sturdy actually feels like a pretty sturdy thing cool rims um, really nice rear end of the car really cool tail lights and stuff also a nice little golden stripe on the tail of the spoiler and the rest of it is silver and black as you see really like this guy alright now for his key gimmick he comes with an earth, uh, earth cyber key you just insert the key right here and watch this you get two missile racks over the roof of the car also with pretty cool silver paint apps here and golden painted missiles now let's fold those missiles away and whoop hey come on you're kidding oh yeah <laughs> apparently you have to fold them back all at once not one each Alright, now you can detach the spoiler. Then you get this little thing here. Spoiler with a booster. And then you get the car here. You got those cool translucent windows as well. And you, for this transformation, you just pop out the front wheels. Like that. And pop out the foot. And pop out the heel. Like that. So just fold out the foot and fold out the heel. This is actually the first time I'm doing this, so this may take some time. Just fold the front of the car down, that's not the hood, the engine is in the rear on the Bugatti Veyron. So I suppose on this guy it's the same deal. Alright, now this part is tricky according to many reviews, but I got it. Just you have to pull the fender down and push the door in like so, and then you can go ahead and 
try to pull out those fenders a bit and rotate them back, like... Dude, this is pretty tricky. They're, those are pretty sturdy locked in there. Alright, now go ahead and spread the arms and just make sure the windshield here and the roof is just onto the arm like so. Go ahead and rotate the door like this onto the arm. So he's got this cool shield. You can also put that behind his arm. Really nice. Um, now go ahead and take the other arm, rotate it out, rotate it around, and rotate the door up, like so. And we're almost done now. Just bring this down, like so, and collapse this whole piece and bring his head up. And this should tab into his waist, like that. Man, this is cool. Dude, I love this guy. <laughs> Alright, now just push those pieces here up. And you've got Crosswise in his robot mood. He's, I think, pretty average deluxe size. And this may be just mine, but the knees are a little loose on this one, I think. Alright, now size comparison with Cybertron Voyager class quick mix here. As you see, he's, well, those fender pieces make him pretty tall, so he's about the same height as Quick Mix, actually. Which is, okay, I suppose. Just, Quick Mix is not that tall for a Voyager, and he's a bit, yeah, he's kind of your average deluxe size uh, guy. And... I've seen some reviews in which a guy plugged the spoiler under his arm like so, but you can also plug the spoiler in his hand like so. Now he's got this cool crossbow-like weapon and he can fire the missile out of it. Really like that. Also, I think his key gimmick still works. Just Take the key, plug it in his backpack, and let's see what happens. Bingo. It works. So you got the two missile racks popping up over his shoulders. And as we all know, every Transformer is better off with shoulder cannons. Now also, he's a bit back heavy because of <laughs> that piece of car right there. <laughs> yeah. Pretty nifty transformation actually and those pieces here you can also put under his arms like so like Optimus Prime always uses his super mode cannons in the show which I really like actually I mean just look at that he's got like huge cannons here <laughs> pretty cool like energy flowing right through those and then just blasting away, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, yeah, let's fold those up again. So, yeah, there we have it. Cybertron Crosswise. I just got this guy and I saw some reviews of him and so I ordered him. And I love him. That's for sure. So, I'm Speed for Law, and I think I'm better signing off now. <laughs> I'm gonna play with Crosswise, I think. <laughs> yeah, at least. Just, yeah. I've got Crosswise now. And I think I'm gonna sign off here. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. <laughs> Almost forgot it. Um, let's see if he has light piping, because... Man, come on, work light. Work. Oh man, this is annoying. Yeah, I got it. And, no. He does not have light piping. Too bad about that, but, oh well. 
He's got this cool green visor here before his eyes and those cool green lights on his head as you see. Yeah, there you have it, Cybertron Crosswise. I am Speedfollow and I am signing off.